Seeing Reporter's history dates back at least a millennium, having been a maritime emporium known as Tomasek and subsequently as a major constituent part of several successive Thalassocratic empires. Singapore, officially the Republic of Singapore, is a sovereign island country and city-state in maritime Southeast Asia. The country's territory is composed of one main island, 63 satellite islands and islets, and one outlying islet the combined area of which has increased by 25% since the country's independence as a result of extensive land reclamation projects. It has the third highest population density in the world. With a multicultural population and recognizing the need to respect cultural identities of the major ethnic groups within the nation, Singapore has four official languages. English, Malay, Mandarin, and Tamil. English is the lingua franca and numerous public services are available only in English. Multiracialism is enshrined in the constitution and continues to shape national policies in education, housing, and politics. Capital punishment is a legal penalty in Singapore. Executions are carried out by long drop hanging, and usually take place at dawn. 33 offenses including murder, drug trafficking, terrorism, use of firearms and kidnapping warrant the death penalty under Singapore law. Section 316 of the Criminal Procedure Code states that the death penalty in Singapore is to be conducted by hanging. In addition to the penal code, there are four acts of parliament that prescribe death as punishment for offences. According to the Think Center, a Singaporean civil rights group, 70% of hangings are for drug-related offences. All eight hangings in 2017 were for drug-related offences that year and 11 of 13 hangings in 2018 were also for drug-related offenses. Under the Penal Code, the commission of the following offenses may result in the death penalty, waging or attempting to wage war or abetting the waging of war against the government. Offenses against the President's person. Piracy that endangers life. Genocide resulting in death. Abetting of mutiny. Perjury that results in the execution of an innocent person. Murder mandatory for Section 300 of the Penal Code. Discretionary for Section 300 and Section 300 of the Penal. Abetting the suicide of a person under the age of 18 or an insane person. Attempted murder by a prisoner serving a life sentence. Kidnapping in order to commit murder. Robbery committed by five or more people that results in the death of a person. Since the Penal Code Act 2007, Singapore no longer allows for the death penalty for rape and mutiny. Under Schedule 2 of the Misuse of Drugs Act. Any person importing or exporting more than the following quantities of drugs receives a mandatory death sentence. 1200 grams of opium and containing more than 30 grams of morphine. 30 grams of morphine. 15 grams of morphine. 30 grams of cocaine. 500 grams of cannabis. 1,000 grams of cannabis mixture, 200 grams of cannabis resin, 250 grams of methamphetamine. Death sentences are also mandatory for any person caught manufacturing morphine, or any salt of morphine, ester of morphine or salt of ester of morphine, morphine or any salt of morphine cocaine or any salt of cocaine, methamphetamine. Under the Act, 
any person who is proved to have had in his possession or custody or under his control, anything containing a controlled drug. The keys of anything containing a controlled drug. The keys of any place or premises or any part, thereof in which a controlled drug is found. Or a document of title relating to a controlled drug or any other document intended for the delivery of a controlled drug, shall, until the contrary is proved, be presumed to have had that drug in his possession. Furthermore, any person who has a controlled drug in his possession shall be presumed to have known the nature of that drug. The majority of executions in Singapore are for drug offenses. Since 2010, 23 prisoners have been executed for drug offenses, while only 5 have been executed for other offenses, such as murder. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, notes that Singapore remains a transit destination for drug traffickers in Asia, drug seizures continue to increase, and heroin drug use within Singapore is continuing to rise. Hangings always take place at dawn and are by the long drop method. The Singapore government has affirmed its choice of execution in favor of other methods. It is a normal practice for everyone present in the courtroom to stand and remain silent before the death sentence is passed. The judge will then proceed to announce the death sentence on the accused who has been found guilty and convicted of the capital offense. The condemned will be given notice at least four days before execution. In the case of foreigners sentenced to death, their families and diplomatic missions or embassies will be given one to two weeks notice. Death row inmates are housed in cells of roughly three square meters walls make up three sides while the fourth is made up of vertical bars. They are equipped with a toilet, a sleeping mat, and a bucket for washing. Exercise is permitted twice a day for half an hour at a time. Four days before the execution, the condemned is allowed to watch television or listen to the radio. Special meals of their choice are also cooked, if within the prison budget. Visiting rights are increased from one 20-minute visit per week to a maximum of four hours each day, though no physical contact is allowed with any visitors. In addition, two days before an execution, an inmate is allowed to have a photo shoot and be given their own clothes to pose during a photo shoot. The photo will be given to their families as remembrance. The Singapore government states that the death penalty is only used in the most serious of crimes, sending, they say, a strong message to potential offenders. They point out that in 1994 and 1999 the United Nations General Assembly failed to adopt United Nations resolutions calling for a moratorium on the death penalty worldwide as a majority of countries opposed such a move. The death penalty is primarily a criminal justice issue, and therefore is a question for the sovereign jurisdiction of each country. The right to life is not the only right, and it is the duty of societies and governments to decide how to balance competing rights against each other. It defended Singapore's policy to retain the death penalty predicating its arguments on, among others, the following grounds. The first death row prisoner to be hanged in Singapore during the COVID-19 pandemic was 68-year-old Singaporean drug offender Abdul Kakar Othman on 30 March 2022, who had not appealed against his sentence and later executed as scheduled therefore resuming executions in Singapore. By the time Abdul Kakar was executed, there were 62 prisoners on death row, awaiting execution. 
the Gant from Cade Armalling game, was the second to be hanged on the 27th of April 2022 after Abdul Kahar. Dachina Murthy Kataya was originally the third in line to be executed on the 29th of April 2022 after a gantron before his execution was postponed due to an appeal. On the 7th of July 2022, Kalwant Singh Ar Singh and Nora Sharigas became the third and fourth convicts to be hanged in Singapore in 2022. In the same month, Rosary Lajin was executed 15 days after Kalwant and Nora Sherry. Three more hangings one on the 26th of July and two on the 2nd of August were conducted after Nazari's execution. On the 5th of August 2022, 45-year-old Singaporean, Abdul Rahim Shapi'i and his 49-year-old accomplice on Seo Ping were the 9th and 10th to be executed. A 55-year-old Singaporean, whose name is unknown, was the 11th to be executed for a drug charge on the 7th of October 2022. There is no international consensus on whether the death penalty should be abolished. Each country has the sovereign right to decide on its own judicial system, taking into account its own circumstances. According to its leaders, the death penalty has been effective in keeping Singapore one of the safest places in the world to work and live in. And also the application of the death penalty is only reserved for very serious crimes. Thank you for watching Death Row.